What's up, my beautiful people, my favorite people, my shining stars? I hope you're shining bright, not letting anyone dim that light. My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, all about the healing. All right, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for my ride and dies. Has been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you, guys. I'm not going to go long and long today. I got to get it cracking, save my energy. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you do for me and have done for me. Um, make sure everybody hit the bells. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the donations and poor uh, donations from those who wanted to do the energy change. For those of you that um, have not and want to, hit that description box. All of that information is in there. And for those of you who um, recently subscribed to my channel, welcome. Thank you, and I'm honored. And for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome, welcome, and welcome. And I'm trying to get the light right. Uh, it's just so dark a little bit. So, yeah, maybe that might be a little bit better. Okay. All right. So, um, for those of you who subscribe that's here for the first time, welcome. Um, I'm not going to go into my long spill that I go to the description box. If you have any questions or concerns, go to the, uh, um, email me, let me know. Um, and if you're vibing with me and I'm vibing with you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is about energy, energy, energy. And if we are energy enlightenment right now, go ahead and subscribe. All right. So enough of that. Um, we, let me get the roll on because I'm about to forget. I'm honoring the sign of Libra. Bam, there it is. Libra, Libra, Libra. If nobody told you today that they love you, that you're the bomb diggity, I'm telling you right now. I love you very much. You're awesome. You're all that. And yes, you are the bomb diggity. And bam, there it is. All right, Libra. Okay, so if you hear any background Noises in the back, people talking, music, anything going on. I'm not home but alone today, so therefore, just disregard. All right, so <clears throat> what we got going on today is who we're going to be checking it out, checking out and channeling who is spying on you, how are they spying, which is this, and why are they spying. We're going to be channeling why they're spying, okay? We got the initials, we got the um, messages here, love, spirit, or um, truth messages. We have the love oracle. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so Libra, who is spying on you? When I asked that, spirit gave me the chariot. So with that being said, um, Libra, this could be a water sign. This could be a cancer. Okay, in particular, it could be a Pisces or a Scorpio who is spying on you. Okay, that's right off. Okay. All right. So what I'm getting from this card is that this person is spying on you because things uh, things were cut off abruptly um, from you. Uh, um, hold on a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. What I'm getting this, uh, I'll go over it again. What I'm getting from this card is that things happen abruptly. Um, y you cut this person off or you wasn't interested in this person. Um, this could have been a friend, a lover. Um, it could even be a family member. Um, it's not specific with the chariot. However, we going cause this, this is broad. If somebody is spying on you, I want to pick up who it is. It don't care. I don't care who it is. It could be a lover. It could be a friend, a coworker. It doesn't say, right? However, this person is watching you. Okay. This person got their eyes on you and they're going to great lengths because this person is on top of this thing. And these horses is, is riding real, real fast. This person can be thrown off, but this person is not caring. If they be thrown off, as long as they can keep their eye on you and and see what's going on with you, they they don't care about the circumstances. They're focused on you by any means necessary. 
is who this person is. You, you two could be different between day and night. You can have some differences. That might be why you, uh, some, you, you cut it off abruptly, or this could be vice versa. Somebody might have cut it off with you abruptly. Um, and you're watching them. However, um, this is who's spying on you. Um, and what I'm seeing in this card is that they got their eye on you. Um, and this card similar to how fast they want to come back into your life. Um, they want to take action. Uh, and this person is trying to watch you by any means necessary to, so they can get a open to come in. But like I said, what I'm feeling from this energy off this card is that you're not interested. You have turned this person down. You have walked away from this person. You no longer interested in this person. And that's why this person is going at any length to keep you in their life. You have moved on. That's what I'm feeling from this. And this person is spying on you because you have moved on and they ha they don't have they don't have any access to you. But they're trying to find a way to come back in fast, quick action towards you, moving towards you. Um and when I clarify the chariot, I got palm tree. So this person um is really in shock because this person um, never thought that you would walk away from you, walk away from them, or this person thought that you and them were meant to be together. Or when you turned them down, it shattered them because they thought that this was permanent. You know that, or this, or this, they thought it was permanent. You were stability to them. You were security. Then also too. This person also is watching you and they seen you grow. They seen you grow. They seen you go through some things and you come out on top and that makes them want you more. Um, they don't see a difference, but I think that you saw that you felt that you two were too different, not compatible. Um, something like that. Okay. Um, how are they spying on you? Let's check it out. How are they spying on you? So that's that right there is who. So that should give you who I'm talking about. When I'm saying somebody you can cut off, not interested in, told them, hey, I don't see you like that. You know, I just want to be somebody you friend zoned. It could be somebody you friend zoned. This could be a family member that you told them to get out your business, that you want to live your own life. This could be. A co-worker want to be all up in your business. This is what came out. Jealous of you, envious, looking at your life, want to be you. This could be all kinds of things. All right, so this is how. Then I tell you they was watching you. This person is watching you like a hawk. They watching you by any means necessary. It doesn't matter if these, these horses is... Is going to throw them off. They don't care. They in danger. They don't care if they in danger. As long as they got their eye on you. They got a fake account. This person got a fake account. This lighting is off. I hate that. Fake account. Um, <laughs> oh my God. This person could be riding by your house. So guys, you got to be careful. I do these type of readings so you could be aware. This could be somebody also too, somebody watching you that you don't know, right? Standing in the shadows, right? Stalking you heavily. This person, like I told you, didn't I tell you this person didn't care if they fall off this by any means necessary. This person is wanting to be in your life, stalking you heavily. They all up in your business, riding by your house. They got a fake account. You blocked them. They're watching you by any means necessary. What else we got? Facebook, watching you on Facebook and Twitter. If you got Twitter, those of you who got Twitter, this person is watching all of your, your accounts. Twitter, if you tweet, they want to know about it. Whatever you tweeting, they want to know about it because that's more information that they can get on you. 
it don't matter to them what what it is all right so why are they stalking they see potential in you they see potential in you they see you right this person um is fixated on you they they believe that you and them are meant to be together they have a a fantasy in their head they have a they dream about you they they have something a belief system they have created a belief system in their head concerning you now i don't know if like i said i don't know if you feel the same way but i'm feeling the energy off of this that you don't because if you felt the same way then this person is so bold that they wouldn't have this per this type of person so bold they'll co go ahead and make themselves known this person really wants you they have a belief system that you and them are meant to be together that they see all of your potential they see all the things the good things about you all the things that they see this elevate they put you on a pedestal they elevate the, those things that are good about you that they can see they put it on a pedestal for you when they think of you this could be somebody that's having a delusion about you like i said you this very well could be somebody that you want to be with but i don't think so i think that this person is evading your privacy you have put up boundaries they have went past your brown boundaries and i think that um this person is because look how this person look how this look how they look fixated on you fixated can't take their eyes off of you no matter what you say no matter what you do they're fixated okay you have told this person you're not interested. You have told them that you don't want them. You have told them you're, you don't see a future, but they don't hear you because they have created a belief system in their head that you guys are meant to be together. So why are they spying? What do they want to say? Oh my God, I'm so in love with you. I am so in love with you. I want you so bad. I don't understand why you don't see that we're meant to be together. We're meant to be together. I dream about you. I see you in my dreams. You tell me that we're meant to be together. You say that you... I see you in my dreams. I know that we're supposed to be together. I don't understand why you don't see it. I don't, I, why am I the only person that can see it? I, I, I'm i not understanding that, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to pray about this and continue to pray about this. I'm going to continue to um, watch you and see when you change your mind and see if you'll change your mind because, you know, one day we could be together. One day we could be together. One day things can change. Things don't always have to be the same. Things can change between us. I know it can. I know it can. That's all I'm... That's, that's it. Okay, so based off of that, if you're not interested in this person, this person told you, and you and told this person that you're not interested, you don't see, and they, could, and they're, they are in this mindset then you need to take precautions because this person is far, far, far from thinking that things are over between you and them, okay? So their mindset is in a delusional mindset. They're fantasizing that they that you and them should be to, are meant to be together. They're dreaming that you and them are meant to be together. So with that being said, you need to just be precaution, be safe, be careful, because you never know where this can go, okay? That's why I'm doing this, is because right now it's a lot of people letting go, releasing people, um, 
removing themselves from toxic situations and different things like that. And a lot of people are not understanding. A lot of people are not taking it well. Um, and a lot of people can't take handle rejection and let and, and move on. So with that, that's why I'm doing this. Because if you have let go of people and they have, have they're having a hard time, then you need to know that. That don't need to be a secret. You need to know what's going on. Okay. All right. So that's that. Um, we'll put that back in there. The initials and we have warrior. So you're fighting. Somebody's fighting for the relationship and somebody's fighting for their freedom. Okay. We have beautiful. Somebody thinks that you're beautiful. Someone's really, really love you. You have it twice, so that's magnified. Somebody truly do love you. Okay? Um, you are protected. Always know that you're protected. No matter what, somebody is dreaming of you. Somebody wants your grace. All right? In this situation, forgiveness, grace. Uh, family, family is significant. Your angels want you to know that they are here for you. Okay. They are here for you. They are around you. Again, somebody wants to let you know that they love you. I love you. Okay. Affinity. All right. All right. So leaves, this is fall. Something happening significant in the fall. Always <laughs> again. Okay, so we got love, love, I love you, and then always love. Okay, so this is a person here that is past spying. This person is stalking you and obsessed with you, okay? Especially if you have um, released them and let them go and you have you have no interest in them. This person is, this is, um, somebody is spiritual. This is the star, okay? We have flowers, Somebody wants to give you flowers, okay? Um, wisdom. Please, this wisdom here, this owl is wisdom. Please use your wisdom and your discernment, okay? During this time, okay? Here's the owl again, again. So that is significant. Use your discernment. Every move you make, use your discernment, okay? And use your intuition. It's very important. Okay, so we got we got G, we got X, that could be your X, okay? We have W, we got N, we have Y, we have L, we have A, we have Q, we have L, we have B. Uh-oh, we got the fish. So somebody could be wealthy or somebody is about to come into some money, okay? A lot of money. All right, so we have L, we have A, we have O, we have Q, we have Z, all right? Okay, so your messages is, wow, I can't believe you have left me for good. I still love you. So this person here could be this person. This person here is stalking you because they can't believe that you left them and you have moved on. This person's still in shock. Didn't I say here that this person was in shock? This person is in shock that you left them. They never thought that you would leave them. You left, somebody left somebody up in this connection. Libra, you left somebody or somebody left you. Somebody left somebody in this connection and this person is shocked. And when you left this person, you blocked them. They have no access to you. They have no access to you in the 3D. They have no S to no uh access to you in the astral plane they cannot connect with you and this person is in shock because they never thought that that would happen um okay here's a spiritual message i am with you every step of the way take your um every um, i am with you every step you take is what they're saying so spirit is saying it doesn't matter that this person is, is stalking you. It doesn't matter if they're coming by your job or, you, uh, or they're coming by your driving by your house or whatever they're trying to do. It doesn't matter. We got your back. And 
if you use your intuition and you use your discernment, you we they they will let you know every time that you made everything you need to know, spirit is gonna let you know. Okay, so it's no need to be scared. That's not what this is about. This is to make you aware. Okay, and nine times out of ten, you already know about it. This is just confirmation. All right. So I can't believe, <laughs> here we go again. I can't believe you left me. I feel the loss. I am so depressed. So this person here, this person here is in shock, delusional, um, can't, um, <laughs> I want to say, I want to say something, <laughs> but I'm not going to say that. Uh, okay. This person here is delusional, in shock can't um can't process the loss they can't pro they can't process this loss so they living in a delusional world spying on you thinking that you're gonna come back okay so that's that's the root of what they're doing they think they're trying to find a way to get back or they're trying to look for clues in their delusional mind to that it will say oh well, she's coming back. Uh, let's just say you got you talking to somebody and you have posted the pictures up and you and that person no longer are together. And you said, oh, well, we broke up. This person would take that as a, a opening for them to come back into your life. OK, yeah. So be careful, too, what you posting online. Right. This person is watching you. Every word you take, every word you say, everything you do, they're watching and, and they're watching on all social media to try to get any information they can. This person is desperate. This person is depressed. OK. All right. Your love oracle is romance. <laughs> Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. All right. For this person here, this is what they want. Okay. They want romance. They want to come back in and romance and have this time with you. I don't know. The, this card don't tell me what happened between you two. It just tells me, gives me the feeling that the energy off this card is that it's too somebody left somebody because they were too different this person wasn't connecting and wasn't healed and and wasn't they wasn't doing what they were supposed to do they wasn't open in a relationship something like that is what i'm getting off of here but this person wants to come back they want another chance they believe that you and them are meant together see how these people are just I mean, totally into each other. This is the way they see you, you all's relationship. This is what they see. And they're saying that you guys are meant to be this way. But this card, what's the energy of this card is that you're not into them. You no longer want to be with them if you were with them. And if you don't, if, if you never... If you friend zone this person, this person is delusional thinking that they have a, they they looking for another chance for romance. Now, but it's somebody else that this may not resonate with. Somebody um you getting ready to enter a, a enter a time where of dating, a uh, romance, um courtship you're about to enter a, a new season of romance. And this is meaning not just one. This is meaning you may be dating and then find that final one that you can connect with is what I'm seeing. Somebody that you that see you and you see them. And you guys can connect, have a connection together. Romance. All right. Well, Libra, that has been your reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know. If it didn't, tell me your story. Uh, listen to all of them. If you um, liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Share, share, share. If I'm vibing with you and you vibing with me, subscribe. Comment, comment, comment. Um, social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Description box, please. Let me let you. Let me tell you this. 
COVID is rising. Guys, I need you to take care of yourself, wear your mask, social distance. Even if you don't want to, be safe out there. Take care of your family. Indeed, Black Lives Matter. Indeed, your life matters. And I'm sending love and I'm sending healing your way. And Trinity is...